Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Shama Monet. It's been a while. Hope you guys are staying safe and well. So I'm gonna just jump right into this. When Julia's Place first came out with the liquid foundation, I grabbed the shade 150 Candle. Now these foundations are super duper full coverage. I've honestly only worn it a couple times. One, because it's really, really, really full coverage, but also because I felt like the shade was a little red on me. So they've been having sales left and right. So I snagged two more shades, $10 a piece. They're regularly priced at $20 each. So, you know, basically I got two for the price of one. And I grabbed the shades 205 Tanzania and 230 Malawi. So I also got another concealer shade as well. Um, I normally use the concealer number 12. I love it. I got 13, which should be a just a pinch lighter if I did it right. <laughs> so I'll be using that later. But I really want to swatch all three of the foundations on my face. These foundations do come with a protective seal. So that's also that's always nice to have. And I want to not confuse myself. So I'm going to do it from darkest to lightest. So the way that the numbers work, the lower numbers, like 100, is darkest. And as the numbers get higher, they get lighter. So, yeah, so I grabbed two more shades because I felt like, honestly, I felt like I could fit a few different shades. Um. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to start with. The one I already had, this is Cano. All right, that's Cano. Next, I am going to go in with, so that's Cano, which is number 150. Let me kind of squish these around because I haven't used these. I didn't even do that to the first one, but this is going to be 205 Tanzania. And last but not least, 230 Malawi. Now, I feel like when I went online, I really wanted to get Togo. I forget which number it is. I feel like Togo was 210, but it was sold out. And so this is 230 Malawi. This might be too light, but we finna find out. Yeah. That's a little light. So the thing about my skin is not even it's not just one shade so i'm really light in the center of my face areas that i would typically highlight and the lower half of my face and my neck she dark that's just how he made me and then once i had my daughter my neck kind of just really got dark and stayed dark so that's just what it is i work around it so i typically always i don't mind going darker with my foundation for that reason I also, you know, highlight, contour, bronze, whatever, to pull it all together. So, hmm, so as you guys can see, this is 150. It's really red. It's red. I mean, like I said, you know, I made it work. I could make it work. I've worn it in photo shoots and everything because, baby, this this stuff is spackle. It's full proof, full coverage. Like, <laughs> she beat. She beat beat. So, it definitely does the job. I think I'm going to go in with this. 205 Tanzania shade. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go in with Tanzania. I'm going to put Malawi back in the box. She a little light. She a little light. I could probably get away with highlighting with that shade. Alright, so that's that. What I'm looking for. What a concealer. I know I bought another concealer. Where is the box? 
I didn't hit it for myself. This is number 12. Oh, y'all. All right, so I found the concealer because I just wanted to swatch it. <laughs> just want to swatch. Since I'm swatching and I haven't primed my face yet. Oh, yeah, it's lighter. Okay, cool. So this is what I've been wearing. This is number 12. It's really close, like similar to LA Girl Pro Concealer Fawn. This is what I've been using. So I got 13 and I can already see it's lighter. So it's the next step, but it is definitely brighter. I don't even need to swatch it. This is going to literally just be for that pop of brightness under the eye. But I ain't mad at it though. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it though. I ain't mad at it. And I also have my shade sticks. Now, I wish they had the foundations that like match the shade sticks because in the shade sticks, matter of fact, let me swatch the shade sticks. In the shade sticks, I'm the shade Benin. And they're like, who? when I blend this sucker out, it matches me so nice. But yeah, as you can see, so Malawi is definitely lighter than Benin. And Benin does look closer to... Am I saying the right shades? Yeah. So this is the shade stick in Benin. This is the liquid foundation in Malawi. This is Tanzania. This is 150 candles. So I'm going to go in with Tanzania. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wipe this off prime and be right back. Yeah, these crayon case, these crayon case wipes, the truth. All right, so I moisturized and primed my face. Now I'm about to go in with Tanzania shade 205. And I probably won't even need no more than that because this stuff right here is... Full coverage. <laughs> I'm gonna blend it out with the Juvia's Place foundation brush. So I blended out this half of my face so far. Looks good. So, this is one layer. I'm not gonna go in with any more. I like the color. Yeah, I feel like my lobby would have just been a little bit too bright. And I could probably get away with it. And matter of fact, just for the sake of trying both of them, I'm gonna blend out a little bit of Malawi, but I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes. Just a little bit lighter. I mean, you can't even tell I just mixed two shades. But I do think if I had put that Malawi shade all over my face, it would have been a little bit lighter. But they work. Tanzania definitely works. And I, I'm sure I could make Malawi work, especially as it gets colder. Like as a winter shade. All right, moving on to highlighter. Gonna highlight like I normally would with number 12. And then just use a pinch. I'm gonna actually blend out 12 first and then I'll be back with um 13. 
Now, I love this concealer, but it definitely, like, because it does not dry down quick. So you could work with it. Take your time. So I'm actually going to let that sit. And I'm going to go in with the shade stick and the shade Katsina to contour. This is another e.l.f. like flawless concealer brush. I really think it's the same as the Linen Perfector. I feel like they just, they're like super duper similar. <laughs> they have different names. I feel like they just changed the, this is what they look like side by side. So like, pretty doggone similar. But this one was just um, clean. It didn't have anything on it and it's helping me not to mess this blend up okay so 13 is definitely brighter i definitely would use it for completely under my eye but i like what it's giving it is doing exactly what i wanted to do just give me another layer of brightness all right i'm not mad at that at all not mad at that at all part of me wants to like go back over this nose contour but i think once i Go over it with the powder it'll be giving me what i want so i'm gonna go in since we doing pretty much juvia's i'm gonna go on with some juvia's satin powder and kalahari This is an e.l.f. powder brush. But then I'm going to go over it with a little bit of Fenty honey powder because I just love, I just love, love, love this Fenty honey. So that's what we're going to do. Hit it with a little bit of blush. This is like my favorite full-time blush. It's Toby from the Volume Blush 1. It's a Harvard Blush palette. Something about orange blush on chocolate skin. So pretty. I'm gonna set my face with the e.l.f. or nighter stay all night microfine mist
taking the side that I didn't use of this sponge. I said this sponge is from Crayon Case, right? Crayon Case sponge. Just to pat that in. And this is nice and matte, but I love to glow, so I gotta add a little bit of highlighter. I gotta add a little bit of highlighter. This is the Francis J Loose Eliminator and Peggy's Peach. I don't know why I grabbed this fan brush, but I did. Haven't used it in a minute. I'm pretty, yeah, this is the Morphe M310. I don't even know if they still make this brush or call it. Ooh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me blend you out. So I just have on some chapstick. I'm gonna wipe most of it off. This is the Juvia's Place Lux Liner in Cola. Gonna go in with the chocolate lipstick in Toffee. And put a little bit of cis lip gloss on top. on some lashes and I'm gonna show you the finished look guys right, so this is the finished look I popped up some lashes doing a little hoops you know <laughs> I'm feeling this look y'all so again this was just me trying to figure out okay what foundation shade am I really so I wore Tanzania which is 205 all over the face I did pop a tiny bit just a tiny bit of Malawi under the eyes used everything will be in the description box but yeah so as i said earlier i feel like there's probably still another one maybe even two three more shades that i could fit but i do feel like this um tanzania shade 205 is not as red and that's what i wanted um 150 i like the color it just was too red like i i guess i didn't like the color I like the coverage and it wasn't that it was too dark. It just was more on the red side. This is more neutral, you know? Boom, it's flowing good. So let me know if you got the foundation, Juvia's Place Liquid Foundation. What shade are you? Do you fit multiple shades? What about the shade stick? Leave me some love and some comments in the description box. And until next time, guys, be blessed, stay healthy. Love y'all. Bye, beautiful people. <laughs> Bye.